Welcome to my channel. My name is Mystic Rose, and I'm so glad that you're here today. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks so much for coming back to watch my videos. I love you all so much. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. And please consider subscribing and becoming part of my YouTube family if you like my videos. And so today's pick a card is going to be all about how are they really feeling about you right now? And more than likely, it's going to be a love and romance type of reading. Although you never know what could come through, but I just kind of have a feeling that it could be about love and romance. So how is the person on your mind um, in the area of love and romance feeling about you right now? And if you start watching a pile and it just doesn't seem to resonate with you, it's okay to go back to the beginning and to... Um, choose a different pile because that can happen sometimes. Also, um, you may be watching it and you may be just thinking, man, this, this just isn't my pile. It's totally normal because it's a collective reading and that's why that happens. So just keep that in mind. All right. And if you're watching this also and you're thinking to yourself, I really could use more information I give personal readings, so check out my description box below for more information on how you can get your own personal reading from me. And if you're interested in donating to my channel, you can always find the information for how to donate to my channel in the description box below as well. It's never expected, but always appreciated. Thank you so much. Let's get started on today's Pick a Card. Hello and welcome to um, your reading today. So today's um, topic is going to be called, um, how are they feeling about you right now? And this is probably going to be in the area of love and romance. Um, but it just depends on whatever spirit wants to bring through. But I, I am putting out the intention that this will be in the area of love and romance. So, um, now, we had some different hearts in the um, thumbnail. We had pile one is purple, pile two is blue, and pile three is pink. But I also want to put out some gemstones for you to help you decide. So pile one is going to be um, tiger's eye. Um, pile two will be desert rose. And I think we'll do blue adventuring for pile three. All right. I think that'll be good. All right. So if you need time to think about which pile you're drawn to, you can pause the video at this time. But um, I just wanted to say too, if you start watching a video, like I said in the introduction, if you start watching a video and it doesn't resonate with you, it's okay to go back to the beginning. This is a collective um, for each pile. So um, a lot of people are going to be watching, so it's going to apply to different people in different ways. So take what you like and leave the rest. And also, if you would like more information that is personal just for you, um, you can order a personal reading from me. And the information for that is in the description. Oh, I can't talk. The description box below. Thanks so much. All right, let's go ahead and get started with today's pick a card. Hi, pile number one. Thanks for being here with me today. So we're going to be using um, my Unity deck. Um, we're going to be using some channeled messages and some charms. So I'm just going to cleanse the deck. All right. Okay, I'm going to cleanse this deck too. And then I'm going to cleanse my charms. Okay, so pile one, if you chose the purple heart and the tiger's eye, this is your reading. So what is the person in your mind um, thinking? What, how are they feeling about you right now? So spirit, please be here with me to help to deliver messages that have clarity and that resonate with pile number one, okay? 
Spirit, please be here with us. Thank you, Spirit. All right, and I always shuffle until I get like a tingling sensation in my solar plexus, and then I know it's time to stop. Okay, so how is this person feeling about you right now? This person could be a wands sign. So wands signs are fire energy. Um, they are very fiery. They have a lot of personality. They're usually the life of the party and they love to party. They love to hang out with friends. Um, they're creative types too, very passionate. Whatever they do, they're very passionate about it. They exude a lot of energy. Now, as far as like wands signs in astrology, um, you're looking at um, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. So keep that in mind. Now, this could be a sun, moon, or ascendant sign. So keep that in mind as well. All right, so if this person is not a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, it could just mean that they do embody those traits. Two of Wands. Boy, they are thinking something. They're planning something. That's for sure. All right. We'll find out more about what they're planning. But they're definitely planning something. Because the Two of Wands is all about being in the planning stages. All right. This person wants to reach out to you. They love communicating with you. This person loves your voice. And it's like your voice is very comforting. Spirit is telling me it brings them comfort. There's something very calming about your voice, very nurturing as well. And this person um, really needs your nurturing and Spirit is telling me they really appreciate that. Yeah, this person um, might have been in a previous relationship where there was too much fighting. This person doesn't really like fighting and chaos. They don't like this. They like the peacefulness that you can offer them. All right. They don't like um, frenzy, chaos, and all of that. Like they've been there before in their past. Okay. And they don't want to fight. They've had a course of bad luck in the in the past. All right. So they felt like the person they were with um, before their previous partner left them out in the cold, kind of like excluded them, made them feel ostracized or something like that. That's what Spirit just said. Yeah, they kind of like, they felt like they had a course of bad luck and they wanted out of that relationship. Um, this person is really glad that they have um, found you. I'm hearing the word stability. You offer a lot of stability to this person. This person wants to be the best version of themselves possible. It's like they're working on themselves, you know. They might have had some self-doubts. You've been instrumental in their life. They're working on developing themselves to become a better person. We got the um, emperor here. This person that's on your mind is they have leadership qualities. They are the kind of people that um, earn your respect because of the way that they're very gentle with their leadership skills. I'm hearing for this person, um, a lot of people might um, kind of like revere them. You know what I mean? Like they deserve a lot of respect because they're good leaders. They are revered. Even if they're not like in a managerial position at work, um, they could very well be because they're, they're like, they're the kind of person that, um, would make a good leader. Okay. Um, even though some people, Spirit is telling me, like, might be intimidated by them because they have a strong presence. Okay. But this person is, they, what they really want to do, they want to tell you thank you. They want to, like, clap for you. They want to give you a lot of accolades because I really feel like you have been instrumental in this person's life. And you've really given them, like, a, 
a helping hand, okay? You're really, really helpful. Like you're helping them to realize things about life, about themselves. Um, you're helping them with their, their self-esteem and they've been working on themselves. So it's like, you know, you've been playing an integral part, integral part of their life. They love you. They're, they are so attracted to you. This is a warm feeling. There's a, a crush here. This is all about attraction. Um, they are loving you. They are just in your presence. They feel loved. Um, this is a good partnership. And if you were wondering how they were feeling, they really do care. Okay, with the lover's card, they really do care. You cannot get any better than that in a love reading, okay? All right, so now I want to go into the channeled message cards to see what they might be thinking about you currently. But I just heard, like, you're a lifesaver. So for many of you, you really are lifting up this person, elevating them to higher grounds so that they feel safe and comfortable. All right. I finally see the truth. So like you're helping this person to finally find their own truth, to see the truth, to see the light. And then I, I've got this too. This wanted to come out. Please say everything is going to be okay. So like this person needs a lot of your reassurance. Um, they're the kind of people, um, they just need a lot of affirmations and a lot of reassurance. Okay. They want to tell you that you have so many good qualities. It's just like I said here with this. They want to give you praise. They want to say thank you. You've helped this person so much out of a bad situation. And this person wants to say, I need you. Okay? I need you. So, this is very heartfelt. Like, I'm feeling all the love here. This is amazing. Such a sweet pile here. You guys have a good energy. Like, you're the type of people that, you know... There should be more of you in this world. You have good vibes. This is true love, okay? This is true love. I love that. So if you were wondering, then you have your answer here. This really is a good match. It's a good partnership. We have great chemistry. So this person, if you guys have been together, they absolutely adore adore you and you guys have like fireworks you know and in, in the bedroom like you guys it's like magnetic magnetic attraction it's not just physical though it's like a soul level thing you're like soulmates okay you have good physical chemistry though and um yeah you knock their socks off spirit just told me that you knock their socks off and so if you haven't been physical with this person yet when you are it's gonna be like fireworks going off it's gonna be so amazing oh my gosh i love it i always knew you were the one for me all right so for some of you this is like uh somebody that you've known for a while maybe you guys weren't together maybe there was like a reason why you couldn't be together for a while they might have been with somebody else or something like that but something might have been blocking you but now it's so romantic like you guys can be together um there's nothing holding you back and 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 this person is saying i always knew you were the one for me so there's something in their heart that tells them that you are the one for them you are their soulmate I miss you. So this person misses you. When you're not around, they think about you. They just wish that they could like spend more time with you. Um, you really make this person feel good. <laughs> Why do you want to change me? So you might have had a conversation with them about, you know, like you need to make some changes or maybe you maybe you should change this or that there's some things this person doesn't want to change okay they want to be themselves 
So Spirit is saying, try to be open because this person might be like, you've helped them a lot to come a long ways. Okay. But there's some things like maybe some vices or habits or whatever. They say old habits die hard. So maybe for some of you, this person isn't ready to completely change all the way, but they're on a good track for becoming like the, the best version of themselves. But like change is hard. Okay. So they're trying. I just want you to know that. But spirit did want that to come out. Hear me out. So they've got some things they want to say to you. Okay. And they want, they would like for you to listen. I think that's why you got this card here for what was it where was it I was under there anyway it was about them wanting to talk to you they really do want to talk to you um for some of you like this could be like somebody that you knew for a while and you didn't get the chance to talk for a while and now they really want to have a conversation with you okay this was not your fault so for some of you, you needed to hear that, that there was something that went on um, that maybe you guys had like an argument or something, but they want to say this was not your fault and they're sorry for something. So maybe when you guys were talking about like some of the things that came up, maybe there was a conversation that revolved around that about change or something something you wanted them to change perhaps and whatever this is if you guys got into a little fight or whatever they just want you to know like this is not your fault they want you to hear them out all right so maybe because i did say in the beginning they don't like conflict in any, or anything like that maybe you guys did have a little bit of a fight or a disagreement but they it's just like please say everything's gonna be okay like they just want to know everything's gonna be okay because they believe in it that this is true love and they need you and they're sorry whoever this is they're sorry you know to you but they they do miss you too um maybe this is somebody that you were with for a while i mean this is a general reading so for some of you maybe this is a person you were with you had a fight with them and um maybe you guys needed a little space so now they're like i miss you i want to talk to you you were right you know that kind of thing all right let's see what the charms have to say all right so this heart came out upside down. There might be something that you guys, like I said, like, you know, the loving feeling, it wasn't lost. It's not lost, but this did come out upside down. So maybe it just needs some TLC, this connection. Um, you are very connected to this person with the handcuffs here. You guys are like, you have a soul connection, okay? You have a good connection. Um, the, if you guys had a fight, understanding is going to be essential. But I'm not getting the feeling that they're a bad person or that they're negative. I do feel like this is like a soulmate connection and you guys are very connected. That's why you got the handcuffs here. Okay, this also reminds me of the devil card. This person thinks about you a lot. They're thinking about you a lot, okay? They can get a little obsessive in a way, the, the way they think about you. They really want to make some repairs on this relationship, whoever this is, because I got the sewing machine here. So if they did something to hurt you, they really want to fix it. We got a little mouse here with a piece of corn. Mice are crafty. They get into the smallest of little places. The symbology of a mouse is such that it means that um, you've got to like be careful, okay, and 
just like conserve resources because mice do that. Um, but it can also symbolize peace and innocence and it can mean um, helping others by being there through thick and thin. So I really do think like in regards to this, the fact that the mouse came out means that there's a lot to preserve with this connection and it's you guys have what it takes to make it work okay so keep working at it we've got the um flower here it's time to bloom and grow together okay you guys can do this you can make it work there's a lot of love here okay in this connection it might be hidden right now because it was upside down but that it's there we got this card here or not card Ugh, i feel like a dingbat charm it's um it reminds me of the hierophant so they actually are thinking about marriage like this is why some of the fights might come up if you guys were fighting they want to um like be with you in a union like a marriage or something like that and um they really do think a lot of you like you've been a teacher to them you've been a mentor to them that's what the hierophant is all about too it's about being a teacher a mentor you've been a guide to them you've helped them in so many ways your marriage material to this person they're thinking about that so it looks like you guys have a wonderful and beautiful connection um, there might have been a few bumps in this road, but you guys have a lot of good things. And this person is definitely thinking about wanting to come towards you and um, like say they're sorry for something. They miss you and all of these other messages that came through. So what a beautiful reading. I hope that you enjoyed this. So um, if this resonated with you, please be sure to leave a comment. Um, and let me know. I would love to hear from you. And I always respond to those too. And be sure to like my video. And um, share it with a friend too. If you think a friend would get something out of this video. And do be sure to subscribe to my channel too. Alright. And if you're a returning subscriber. Um, thanks for tuning in. And I love you. I love you all so very much. Um, everyone who's here watching this right now, I just want you to know you're special and um, it means a lot to me that you watched this video and if you're interested in watching more Pick a Cards, I have quite a library for you to check out and many more to come. And if you need a personal reading, be sure to look in my description box below so that you can um, see the information that you need in order to book a personal reading with me. And also, it's never, ever, ever like something you have to do. But if you would like to donate to my channel, that would be very appreciated. It helps me to get different things for the channel like gemstones, um, tarot cards, and different things like that. So anyways, thanks so much again and many blessings to you, pile number one. Hi, pile number two. So if you chose the blue heart and the desert rose, then you are in the right place. So today's pick a card is going to be a love and romance um, reading. That's the intention that I put out to spirit. Um, I'm going to cleanse the cards before I shuffle them. But we're going to be um, finding out what are they thinking about you? What are they, how are they feeling about you right now? And this is more than likely going to be a love and romance type of reading. So I'm just going to shuffle the cards, okay? Um, and then I'm going to stop when Spirit tells me to. That's when I know. Um, the reason that I say that is because um, I always get like this tingling sensation in my heart chakra and then I know it's time to stop so it's pretty cool all right wow so we got the three of swords right away such an interesting energy to start off with um this could be your energy or this person's energy but they feel like um 
well, let's draw more cards. Let's see, this is the card that usually means that you're learning lessons in a hard way. All right. Ten of Cups. Page of Pentacles. Okay. This person could be an earth sign. It could be somebody like who is um, a... a um, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus, and they could have this placement in their sun, moon, or ascendant, so it just depends on the placement in their birth chart, but basically this person embodies these traits. They're grounded, stable, reliable, responsible with like paying bills on time and that kind of thing, remembering appointments, deadlines. Um, they're very firm in their beliefs. Um, they can be prone to worrying too much sometimes, okay? So this person could be of this sign or of this kind of energy. You know, maybe they worry quite a bit. Um, I need more cards, but it looks like the Ten of Cups here is symbolic of, like, happiness, celebrating, um... Defensiveness here with the Seven of Wands. There's also Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries energy here. All right, so what this tells me, this person that's on your mind, they think that you are like a life preserver or something like the way that you've come into their life um help them out because they were sinking it looks like with the three of swords they might have been cheated on in their last relationship but you came in and now they're happy they're celebrating life is good um good things are happening it's like your good luck charm yeah so you could very well be of the fire energy Fire energy people are sometimes Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. So you could have that in your placement somewhere in your birth chart. Or it could just mean that you're a really passionate person and full of, like, you know, energy and enthusiasm for life. And also this is the card that means that you're very physically attractive. So you could be very physically attractive. And this person thinks a lot of you. They think you're very attractive they also think you have a very warm personality. Um, sometimes this person can have their guard up too much. And I think it's because they've been hurt in the past. You know, they've been hurt in the past. And you see this band-aid on here? That's what you do to this person. You help heal their, you help to mend their broken heart. So they think highly of you. This person has a lot of options. They're a really good catch. All right, they have like a lot of options out there that they could choose from, but they like you because you're spiritual. They've never met somebody like you before. You're the high priestess here. Um, you follow your intuition. You have a lot of secret knowledge from like maybe the occult or just, you know, um, spirituality. You have a lot of wisdom within you. They see you in that light. They see you as like having mysterious vibes. You pull them in. You draw them in. There's something soulful about you. Um, it's like, you know, your eyes. There's something soulful about your eyes. Um, yeah. So, I don't know. I just heard like gypsy vibes. You could give them like, you know what I mean? Like an old soul or like, uh, when I say gypsy vibes, what I mean is like, somebody who um is very psychic um you know like i think of like a palm reader or something like that see how she's got this crystal ball like that's how this person views you okay they think you have many secrets um with that moon above her head she's very connected to the divine too like this person just thinks like you have this amazing aura about you <laughs> And that you're very mysterious and they want to come into your world, okay? And you would love to just, like, draw them into your world. Judgment here. It's like, um, 
healing broken parts of yourself and transformation is what this card stands for. Um, but this person also, I just wanted to say this, in the past they've been judged too harshly. Um, people misunderstand this person. They get misunderstood a lot. They're not the best at communication, okay? Um, if only they could be a little bit better at expressing themselves. <laughs> That's how I'm feeling. It's like Spirit is trying to tell me like they're not great at communicating their needs, wants, and that kind of thing. And like people have really gotten the wrong impression of them. Some people in the past have like taken advantage of them and it just hasn't been kind. Like they haven't had a lot of good connections with people, not only in romance, but like you know, they could have had, like, work problems, problems with, like, people not respecting them enough at work. They might feel like they deserve a promotion or a raise at work, and it's, like, things aren't going their way, you know? They just feel, they feel really bummed out because, like, they feel like they're a good person, they're putting out good stuff, and it's, like, they're not getting the stuff back. It's not happening for them. This is what Spirit is trying to kind of paint a picture in my mind about this person. They want to be acknowledged at work. They want to just be acknowledged, you know. But you're a warm place where they can come for reprieve with the sun here. It's like you make them feel like everything is great. They feel very abundant and happy in your presence and they can relax. Um, maybe you're the type of person that offers um, a listening ear or a massage or something to relax them. Um, there's something about your healing hands here as well spirit is bringing forward you have very healing hands and a healing touch they love this about you they're actually thinking they that you're a marriage material type of person like they would love to connect with you um, in some kind of union it's very celebratory too with the balloons there fours are all about stability they want to have this with you that's amazing the star they think the world of you they feel like you're a wish come true you give them hope and renewal they are very spiritually connected to you yeah i'm just i saw them like wanting to go and like choose a ring or something pick out a ring for you or like start planning things for some kind of union with you they may even want to start a family with you, okay, with the Empress there. They may want to have a family with you or get a puppy or something like that, but kind of like solidify this union. You make them feel really balanced too, and there's just no one like you. I just heard that there's no one quite like you. All right, so let's see what the channeled message cards have to say. Spirit, please bring through something uh, relevant, something that um, makes sense, something that connects with pile number two in regards to this connection. All right, Spirit. This is fate. This was fate that you guys met. This is a connection from the divine. Something to be, re you know, like revered. It's very sacred. Okay. What else, spirit? This person, they suffer from depression at times. It says, you used to lift, uplift me, but I took you for granted. All right, so this could be somebody, you know, that at times, like in the past, might have taken you for granted. Um, <clears throat> if that's the case, I do feel they're very sorry about this because I'm feeling that. But yeah, this person sometimes can suffer from, you know, like anxiety, depression, that kind of thing. But like you lift them out of it. You're a safe place. All right, what else, Spirit? All right, we got, I'm here for you. So they are there for you. They want to be there for you and continue to be there for you. They love it that you're there for them too. They feel stuck in some ways. So like I said, like 
they feel like <clears throat> maybe they don't get enough recognition. Maybe they feel stuck at work or something, or they have a lot, a lot of outside stressors. They come to you to feel unstuck. They come to you because they feel off, you know, balance. So you're a very balanced person. So they come to you. Also, they can come to you for answers because you have a lot of really good intuition. What else? Spirit. Whoa, one just fell. I'm going to pause the video so I can get that. Just a moment. This one came out. I'll always love you no matter what. So no matter what happens, this person is always going to be in love with you. So this person, what else? Aw. For some of you, it says, I miss you terribly. You might be, like, not talking to this person right now. So, if that is the case, this person does miss you quite a bit. Um, I hope that isn't the case, but for some of you, that might very well be that the stress just got to this person and they need a break. They needed a break because they might have been overwhelmed with life. Nothing that you did, but just, you know... So that could very well be the case for some of you. That's what Spirit wanted to bring through. You still mean the world to me. So that's the message from them. You still mean the world to me. Yes, I still care. So I hope that that helps you to understand what's going on with this person in their mind. I need healing. So this person is in need of healing, just like I said. I need strength because this is not easy. So they're going through something that is not easy for them. Stresses them out and everything. Um, they need your healing vibes. They need you to send some healing their way. I want to start a life with you. So they want to come forward, come towards you, and start a life with you. They do want a marriage or some type of union with you. This is what they're thinking and dreaming about. Okay. What up, spirit? It says, I'm so caught up in my own problems, I can't see you. So at times this person gets so stressful or stressed out and anxiety filled. They can't see anything else. They get in a tizzy. It's their anxiety taking control of them. It's like they feel like they're being like choked or something. They get choked up. They can't express their feelings the way they want to. It's like communication issues. But they really do care for you. For some of you, this could be a twin flame connection or energy. And they want you to know you're the best lover that they ever had. It says you're the best lover I ever had. Alright, so if this resonated with you, do be sure to give me a comment. Leave a comment. Um... Oh, wait, I forgot something. I forgot to do the charms. But I was going to say, if this is resonating with you, do be sure to leave a comment at some point, either now or when you're done watching this video. And let me know that it resonated with you, because I would love to hear about this. All right, yeah, you're definitely um, somewhere where this person can go. It's a safe place where they feel like you make them thrive. You help them to get through it, to survive things. Yeah. Um, where would they be without your love and support? That's what Spirit just said. USA. They could be from a different country. Okay. Or a different um ethnic background than you for some of you this person like needs a lot of healing we got the dove here they need good luck too because i got the we got the four leaf clover here they need peace and good luck they also need a transformation like they need an overhaul um they want to change 
they want to get better. They want their lives to be better and they want to include you in their life. You get the mouse. Pile number one had this too. Um, the mice are all about getting into small little places and they preserve their food and so it's about preservation mainly. Um, but like, you know, this is what this basically that means that this relationship is worth it. So keep, you know, don't give up on this person just yet. The dragonfly, this just means for me, you're very protected from the other by somebody on the other side, a deceased loved one or a spirit guy that is watching over you and over this whole situation, this union. The person on your mind thinks you're a star. Okay. And they really want to grow with you. I'm hearing that song, Grow Old, along with me. So you might want to check that out, Grow Old, along with me. Two branches of one tree. Face the setting sun when our day is done. All right. So that's a great song. You might want to look up, look that up. It's beautiful. So that's what came to my mind with this. Um, usually I don't get songs, but <laughs> that seems special. So you might want to check that out. Okay. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. If you're a returning subscriber, I just wanted to say thank you for watching my videos and thanks for donating to my channel. And thank you for all the personal readings that you've been booking with me. I really appreciate you all so much. Many blessings and lots of love to you. Hi, pile number three. Thanks so much for being here today with me as we look into how are they feeling about you right now in a love and romance sense. And uh, we, we're going to be using my Unity deck, which I created. If you're interested in purchasing a deck for yourself, you can find the information for that in the description box below. Um, I'm going to be using some charms, I'm going to be using some channeled message cards, and my intuition, um, letting my intuition be the guide, um, and letting an allowing spirit to speak through me, um, uh, on your behalf, so that we can deliver messages to you that are clear and accurate, and that resonate with you. So I'm just cleansing the cards right now just because um, it's good to do that in between readings. So Spirit, please be here now with me as um, I get ready to deliver the messages to um, pile number three about the person on their mind and how they're basically feeling about them right now. Um, all right, Spirit, we're open to you bringing through basically whoever is meant to come through in this reading, whoever pile number three needs to um, hear about the most at a heart level. Remember, if you're watching this and it doesn't resonate, it's okay to go back to the beginning and choose a different pile because this is like, um, it's a collective for each pile. So you know that like many people are going to be watching this. So if it doesn't apply, you can go back and choose a different one. But anyways, yeah, we'll be using the charms today because I thought that would be a cool thing to add. I've, I use charms. Sometimes I use letter tiles for different things. I like to do little extra things like that. All right. So, um, spirit tells me that the cards are ready. So I'm going to flip them over. Three of pentacles. Um, this is all about like planning things, taking action. It can be collaborating with other people. So this um, person really wants to um, collaborate with you, be a team with you. Um, yeah, let's see what else comes up. Action. Yeah, they want to take action. They want to move something forward with you. All right. It seems like in the past this person was given an offer, but they didn't care about it. Um, this person also can sometimes get a little bit bored with things. Um, 
this person, I want to know more about this, but it's like, this is the card where it's all about like, you receive something, but you don't really want it. So I want to look more into that. All right, this person's interested in marriage. They've got their green light on. Lots of green in this reading so far. It's like this person has their green light on. They ready, they're ready for marriage or a union with you. They could be um, a fire sign, a Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. Or they could just embody those traits. They could just be the kind of people that are really, you know, energetic and full of life and passion and very physically attractive. Um, Wands energy are extremely, some of the most attractive signs of the whole zodiac. They're creative. They're usually very artistic. They can just come up with the, the greatest of ideas. But they really want to move things forward with you. Oh, that's why they've got this card. They're itchy. They're, they're getting bored because they want to move something forward. Okay. I think they want marriage. They want to, they're literally starting to plan moving things forward with you, either moving in or uh, moving in together or getting like getting engaged. They might be planning on asking you to marry them. Um, but they're definitely itching to get things going with you. Okay. To get things moving with you. Yep. Um, thank you spirit for that. I was wondering what that was all about. I was like, no, but yeah, um, no, this is good because they're, they're just ready. They're ready for action. Look at all these cards. This card is indicative of marriage. This card is indicative of marriage. Um, this person is ready. They've got their green light on. They're ready. They're ready to go. This is good news. I hope you guys are happy about this. Hopefully you're wanting the same thing. All right, what else, Spirit? What else do you want to tell us about how this person is feeling about them right now? Got the moon here. Things that are hidden, pay attention to your dreams and your inner knowings and your intuition. Follow your heart and your intuition. All right, so why this card? Spirit, why this card? Why do we have the, the moon here? Oh, I know why. Spirit just told me they're trying to keep it a secret from you. They, they don't want you to know that they're going to uh, either propose or that they're thinking about marriage. Oh my gosh. I love this reading. This is like one of the happiest readings that I've ever done. Just so far from what I'm sensing. Like the excitement that I'm getting. I literally have chills right now. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited like for you guys. I seriously have chills. They want to offer you something. An Ace of Wands here. They want to offer you something. A new start. An opportunity to create together. Um, yeah, to collaborate. To be a team. Like I was saying in the beginning here with that three of pentacles. That's all about collaboration and being a team. They want to be a team with you. They want to start something with you. All right. We got wands energy here. This could be um, your energy or theirs. This is just a um, confirmation of the wands that was here before. So it's like, you know, this fire out energy. They have a very like warm personality. They're very fiery too. Um, just very like full of passion. We've also got um, swords energy here. So somebody here could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Or you could just be very intelligent. Or this could be their energy. Sometimes that gets switched around. This could be you and this could be them or, you know, vice versa. But, like, we've got swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. The swords people, I'll tell you a little bit about swords people, but I won't dwell too much on it. Um, they are a lot in their heads. They're great leaders. Um, they're forceful, but without, they're not forceful. They use force, but in a, like a way that is, I want to say palatable. Okay. So that you can, um, so that you can, it's well received. So they're not forceful in that way. It's just like, kind of like they know what they want. Okay. And they, um, they love change. 
um, a lot of the um, people that I know that have like Gemini in their charts, they like to like, you know, they get bored. So they like to start projects and then like start many different projects and have a lot of different things going on. Um, sometimes they're, they have an interesting sense of style too and like to change their hair color quite a bit. So this could be you or this could be them. They want to make a large purchase with you, like see this house here. It's all about making large purchases. Um, so yeah, nine of wands can be indicative of um, like defending what is yours. But in this case, I really feel like it's going to be the other meaning of this card, which is see that beautiful house in the background here. This person wants to make a big purchase with you, together with you and be a team. They want to be a team with you. They're very, on the bottom of the deck, we got the Page of Cups. They're very romantic. This person has a lot they want to express to you. They're extremely romantic. They might even have a tattoo on their chest, okay? Because <clears throat> that's standing out to me, and that usually doesn't stand out to me. They could very well be, with the Page of Cups here, a water sign to Scorpio Pisces Cancer. Or they could just be extremely romantic, all right, but they with this card here, they don't want you to know just yet. <laughs> All right, now let's check out the channeled message cards and see what comes up, and then we'll do the charms. All right, so what are some messages that um, they want that the person on their mind wants pile number three to know? All right. Uh, let's see. Oh. Okay. So maybe this person was cheated on in the past. Someone had an affair or was cheating in their mind. It was unfair. So maybe like in the past, this person had somebody who was not faithful. So this, maybe this is why they appreciate you so much. They appreciate you. All right, this one says, whoa, this almost fell out. Um, oh, wow. Okay, why is it saying that this person wants you to forgive them for something? I don't know what, this just kind of took another twist. <laughs> oh my goodness, this person does want you to forgive them for something. The person on your mind. All right, they might have been cheated on. Um, whoa. You're an angel to me. You've helped me grow so much. They want you to know, this person wants you to know that you've helped them grow so much as a person and they appreciate you. You are my heart and soul. What else? They had a bad past, I think. I feel like this was like something in their past. Yeah, that happened to them. Like they were a victim of somebody cheating on them. Gosh. Yeah, I think they got really hurt from that situation and then they met you and it was like a beacon of light. That's what spirit is telling me. I'm going to have to see why they want you to forgive them, though. I'm sorry for being so hurtful. So maybe this person, maybe you guys got into, like, a little argument or something. Um, maybe you guys got into, like, a little fight. For some of you, this person, they have a lot of strong feelings for you, like wanting to marry you, all this stuff. But it's like... This reading just took a twist. It's like, <gasps> now this person is sorry because they accidentally hurt you. Um, so this is very interesting. This person thinks a lot of you. They think the world of you. They think you've pulled them out of a dark place. They. I just heard spirits say they owe you so much. This is kind of reminiscent of pile number one. So if you were drawn to pile number one, you might want to watch that because it kind of is similar. 
I need to hear your voice. So for some of you, maybe you're not talking with this person right now. Um, but they have strong feelings for you. Maybe they, maybe they messed up. Um, they might have like caused you some kind of hurt. It doesn't mean they were cheating, but um, they might have caused you some kind of hurt. And th what they really want is to marry you. Okay. So I'm not sure how you're feeling about this person, but um, yeah. This person, I can tell, this one wants to come out. I never had a true example of love. All right, that wanted to come out, it like literally flew out at me. This person never had a true example of love. They might have been brought up in like some kind of abusive home when they were kids or something. Whoa, this one wanted to come out too. I don't know what it says. You deserve better things than what I can offer you. I'm broken. So they might feel like this. They might literally feel like they, in their heart, they want to marry you. They want to move things forward with you. They want to have that beautiful relationship with you, but um, they feel broken. Okay. This person feels like you deserve better. So I don't know. I hope this is resonating with you guys out there. Hopefully this is bringing you some healing messages. You remind me of who I want to be. So this is for some of you. This person is saying, you remind me of who I really want to be. And I wish we would have worked out. So for some of you, you might be on a, like a break with this person or broken up with this person. I'm sorry for making you feel unloved. They want to tell you that. This is how they're feeling about you. Wow. This one, this pile makes me like sad. It makes me get teary eyed. I'm sorry that I blocked you. So they might have maybe not, you know, blocked you, but you could have blocked them or um, maybe they blocked you energetically or something like that I can't do this any longer they don't want a break they don't want the break anymore they want to be with you we are soulmates they think you're soulmates they want to be with you all right so that's going to be you know your decision if you want to be with this person but that's um how this person is feeling. All right. That was very deep. I didn't realize that was going to get very deep like that. The way it started out, I'm going to be honest, I didn't see that coming. But it's okay because whatever spirit wants to bring through is what spirit, you know, wants to bring through. So I just am open and I allow spirit to bring through whatever needs to come through for those who need to hear the messages all right so for pile number three what are some charms that will speak to us about this situation they think the world of you they think you're a star bright and shiny um they love you a lot this person um we've got the squirrel here so squirrels they're always working hard you know to get their nuts and storing them for winter and all of that um so i think this person wants to work on things they want to find the little things that are working and like focus on those things and like you know they really they're like i just heard they're grasping at straws like they they are trying to like think about all these wonderful things. They can't get it out of their heads. They think you're an angel with, with this feather here. They think you're an angel. Um, they want to come to you. They just want to get in their car and drive over like they used to do, but they can't do that. I think for some of them right now. They just want to with this car here and they want to move things forward with you they want to like i said in the beginning like marry you 
or just get away, take a vacation with you somewhere, go to a sp special spot you guys both like to go to because we've got the car here and the airplane, which is for taking a trip or transportation. Maybe they want to just get to you any way they can. All right. Um, they want to change. They want to become a better person. I just heard, I'm tired of this. That might have been you thinking that. Maybe you're tired of that. They act like a child. Um, maybe you guys talked about having children together, but this is um, a child here in this charm. Or they could be acting childish. The, all the answers you need are within you regarding this situation. And it's your choice. So that's what I wanted to say to you. That's what I wanted to leave you with. I hope that this reading really helped you. And if it did, please be sure to comment and let me know. Um, like this video and do be sure to subscribe to my channel too so you can be part of my YouTube family. All right. I wish you a lot of healing and a lot of love and a lot of blessings in whatever you choose to do. And my heart goes out to you, pile number three, for this situation with this person because it seems like a very sensitive situation. Anyways, many blessings to you. Thanks again so much for tuning in. And if you'd like more, like more information, um, you can uh, look in my description box for all of the information that's there about um, obtaining a personal reading from me. And um, yeah. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.